Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Axel, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can one-shot your Kuva Liches and Sisters of Parvos, even if they're level five. So let's get into it. If you don't know how to get a Sister of Parvos, check out the video in the top right. And if you don't know how to get a Kuva Lich, I will quickly explain it now. Once you have completed the War Within quest and have acquired a Railjack, go to Cassini on Saturn to spawn a Kuva Larveling. Once your screen flashes like this, you need to kill around 15 enemies to spawn the Larveling. Mercy it once it has spawned with the weapon you are looking for. Now farm Murmurs to reveal the correct Requiem mods. Missions that allow you to kill a lot of enemies is the best way to farm Murmurs. Once you have found the correct mod order, your Lich will flee to the Saturn Proxima for the final confrontation. Let's talk about Kuva Liches first, as they are easier to kill. You want to use Banshee, and the build that I use doesn't require any former, helmet abilities, or even the Exilus mod slot. It is, however, a very risky build. You will one-shot the Lich, but it will two-shot you if you aren't fast enough. I then pair this with a Corinth Prime, and this is the build that I use. Prime Charge Shell can be replaced with normal Charge Shell if you're up against a level 4 or lower Lich. Once you enter the room where your Lich is, activate your third ability. When you're within 35 meters of your Lich, spam your second ability to spawn weak spots onto it. These will multiply your damage by 16 times. To one-shot a level 5 Lich or a level 4 without Prime Charge Shell equipped, a weak spot must spawn on the head or spawn on top of another weak spot. If it doesn't, it will take two shots to kill the Lich. As the Sister of Parvos fight is longer due to killing two Spectres and sometimes a Hound before you can damage your Sister, you will need more survivability. There are two builds that I would recommend. The first build, you are more likely to die than the second, but it doesn't require the use of the Helmet system. You also have to change your playstyle slightly. This build uses Rolling Guard for 3 seconds of invincibility as well as Brief Respite and 2 Augur Mods to regenerate your shields. I also pair this with Magnus Lockdown and a Decaying Dragon Key. When you enter the room where your sister is, activate your third ability and Void Dash to the Spectres. This will tether them, allowing you to damage the Spectres without getting damaged by them. Do the same thing to the Hound if required. Then spam your second ability. You won't be able to activate it as fast as the Kuva Lich build due to not having natural talent, but you won't die due to brief respite. Once your sister is lit up with weak spots, dodge roll to become invincible and shoot to kill. Just like Kuva Liches, to one shot a level 5 sister or a level 4 without prime charge shell equipped, a weak spot must spawn on the head or on top of another weak spot. If it doesn't, it will take 3 shots to kill your sister. The second build that I recommend, which you guys informed me of, is Banshee with Gloom. This is the build that I use, and I infuse Gloom onto the first ability. This build does have the lowest strength out of the three, but it reaches Gloom's slow cap at 95%, as well as still being able to one-shot level 5 sisters of Parvos. When you're about 100 meters away from your sister, Activate Gloom so by the time you reach your Sister of Parvos, Gloom would have expanded to its max range. When you enter the room, activate your third ability and kill the two Spectres and Hound if required. Then spam your second ability a few times and shoot a weak spot to kill your Sister. Always prioritize weak spots on the head to do the most damage. With all three builds, I use the Xeneric Focus Tree to fill my energy before the fight. As for companions, I would use an Adaza Kavat with this build. If your timing is right, when you are about to kill your Lich or Sister, you will have the Cat's Eye buff active. Alternatively, you can use any Sentinel and equip as many Vigilante mods as you can to its weapon. This will give you a chance to increase your crit to the next tier. That is all you need to one-shot your Lich or Sister. If you found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more content, and leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching.